Hello, today we've got some interesting stuff. It's a Sony UX Pro. It's a Type 2 cassette. And we'll have a look and see if it's in a good place of music, see where we go from there, and look to see all around whether it's a, a thing worth having or not. Let's get stuck in. This background music was recorded on the Sony Pro using the W1200, and you can hear it's rather nice. I'll give you a few seconds to listen to it. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I've turned it down a bit now, but we can still have it on in the background. It's come in more than one package, but as you can see, it's really nice looking stuff, the way they've done it. They've put a bit of effort into it, even if they've spelt ceramic wrong. And there we go, we're talking about the tape being really high quality with ceramic guides, which you can see on here. Let's start with the buff ting. Very nice. This is a very nicely put together tape. It feels good, it looks good. It's got a quality sort of, it oozes quality. Let's see if it lives up to its promise, shall we? First off, we have a look at the silence. Now this is minus 79 dB. It's actually, that's where on that peak, right about in the 13 kilohertz point. After that, it gets quieter and it starts off a bit quieter. So overall, it's a very quiet tape. If you've been watching a few of these now, you'll know how this goes. And this is the 0 dB white noise, followed by the minus 20 dB white noise. And you can see this is a, a precursor to what's to come. And I think they look pretty good. And they very look they look very similar to themselves. The minus 20 and the 0 don't look a great deal different. And the same could be said for the pink noise. Look, 0 dB there, and then we got the pink at minus 20. And you can see they're related. There's not a great deal of difference at all. Time for Patrick Patrickos. Here we go. Where we want to go by Patrick Patrickos. Dynamic and clean. Again, wow, and for completeness, here's the minus 20 version. I've been using headphones to listen to this and I can tell you it is superb. Let's have a look at this. This is the 1 kilohertz at 0 dB and you can see there is a bit of third harmonic distortion. There's 36 dB between them so maybe it's okay. Having said that the rest of the trace is looking pretty good. This is where the purity of the tape comes in. Look this is minus 20 dB and there is the 1 kilohertz but the rest of that is totally silent. Looking at that that means that this is a very good tape if you record it within the normal sort of parameters you're not going to get any way near the distortion you could get on a lot of other tapes if any of you guys have got any experience of using these tapes it'd be really interesting to hear about it but put, put your experiences in the comments and we'll share with others next we'll be looking at the minus 20 db and the 0 db 3 kilohertz see how that gets on then we'll be looking at the frequency sweeps on both of them and we'll see where we go from there so more to come anyway let's get on with it Looking at the 3 kilohertz 0 dB, it really doesn't want to be that high. But look at this. This is beautiful. This is the minus 20. This tape really does not benefit from being overdriven. At these levels, you can see how pure the signal is. And now what we've all been waiting for, what's the frequency response like on these? Absolutely superb. Look at that, all the way up to 20 kilohertz. And again, at minus 20, we've got a similar signal all the way up to 20 kilohertz. Very impressive. Very nice tape. Let's have a look at the overdrive. And this really confirms that if you overdrive the tape, you bring up the background noise level, so it's not worth it. Take it up to zero, and then you'll get the best response you can, and it will be absolutely superb. My conclusion is, if you can get hold of one of these tapes, buy it. It's worth it. I'll be interested in your experience with these tapes or anything similar, and like, subscribe, and we'll catch you another time. Cheers, bye.